Joining our discussion now is Democratic Congressman Jim Himes of Connecticut. He's a member of the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman Himes, one thing I'm struck by in the Republican written resolution of censure of the president is that almost all the language in it is identical to the article of impeachment. It's it, they're, they, they are saying that the same behavior, which they don't dispute, is only worthy of censure, not impeachment. Yeah, and that's not surprising to me. I mean, it's important that people understand why they're doing this, right? Um, impeachment carries with it, first of all, a lot more examination of the president's behavior. If there is a trial in the Senate, and today for the first time, you know, with uh, reportedly Mitch McConnell uh, breaking with the president, that all of a sudden becomes a possibility. Um, if there is a trial in the Senate, of course, there is evidence. And so we may find out who the president was talking to the day before the insurrection. We may find out who he was talking to during. Uh, and that is a profoundly scary uh, prospect for Republicans who just wish that Democrats, and you hear this, I'll tell you, it makes my head explode, who just wish that Democrats, having nearly been killed a week ago, would come together with unity and goodwill to forget what happened uh, last Wednesday. Um, and remember, uh, Lawrence, as well, that an impeachment, unlike a censure, if, it, if we follow through on it, we can impose the penalty of Donald Trump never being able to run for any office again. And that is an important, important thing. We are watching uh, a few votes uh, develop today uh, over the course of several hours. We're now up to, I think, four Republicans in the House saying that they will vote for impeachment. What do you do? You have any sense of what that number is going to be when the roll call is actually called? Um, I don't, Lawrence, because it, it, it's one of those moments in this building right now where things are changing fast. And, and as you know, there aren't a lot of moments like that. But when Liz Cheney, and Liz Cheney is not just the conference chair, the number three Republican. Liz Cheney, of course, is the daughter of a former vice president. I mean, there aren't a whole lot of bigger names in the Republican Party. When Liz Cheney comes out with a statement that is actually more blistering than a lot of Democrats, when Mitch McConnell lets it be known um, that he would, uh, uh, you know, that he, he's, he's happy with impeachment, what you're seeing is you're seeing the ground open. And you're seeing um, the traditional Republicans like like uh, Mitch McConnell and Liz Cheney on one side and Matt Gates and Jim Jordan and the cultists on the other. And the interesting thing is that Kevin McCarthy, who you just talked about, finds himself on the other side of that gulf. So, you know, I think the next 24 hours are going to be fascinating because this is, you know, this things are changing pretty fast here. Uh, it turns out that it is possible to get a, a Senate trial going uh, before January 19th. Mitch McConnell had said you can only do that with unanimous consent. Chuck Schumer has pointed to an obscure rule that they inserted in 2004 in the Senate saying that in an emergency situation, both the majority leader and the minority leader agreeing together is all you need to break any previous unanimous consent agreement and get the Senate back to work on an emergency. This fits those conditions. The question now is just, will Mitch McConnell uh, go along with that? And what we're reading from The New York Times is even that is now a possibility. Yeah, uh, Lawrence, we shouldn't get carried away, even though it would appear that Mitch McConnell has, for the first time in the four years of the Trump administration, uh, found some conscience with respect to Donald Trump. Let's not forget that Mitch McConnell is, at the end of the day, about the retention of power or the retrieval of power for himself and the Republican Party. So as much as we may applaud his recently discovered conscience, remember, I think Mitch McConnell would love nothing more than for the Biden administration at a moment in time where the Biden administration needs to confirm hundreds of people through the United States Senate in which Democrats are saying, let's actually pass good governance and pass bills that will actually deliver aid to the American people. When the Democrats are saying we're going to finally address the coronavirus issue, Mitch McConnell would love nothing more than to have the Senate distracted in a way that would put that at risk. So um, let's let's uh, you know keep a somewhat jaundiced eye on the constructiveness of Mitch McConnell here. That is the only way to look at Mitch McConnell. Congressman Jim Himes, thank you very much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Lawrence.